Yo, what if I told you there's a hidden world of powerful, unofficial Flipazero apps you won't find on any official list? These aren't just imaginary apps. They are the powerful community-built tools kept out of the official releases. So what's the deal with the standard Flipper Zero firmware anyway? Think of it like a sports car with a speed limiter on it. It's great and built for incredible performance, but for safety, liability, and all sorts of regulatory reasons, its full power is held back. Now, the official firmware has built-in limits that stop you from transmitting on certain radio frequencies or running more aggressive attacks right out of the box. So, it gives you a taste of the power but keeps the training wheels on. This is where the community steps in. I'm going to show you how to transform your flipper from a fun gadget into a serious pen testing and research tool. We're going to replace that factory installed software with custom firmware and it sounds intimidating, but it's actually really simple. Doing this just won't remove those limits. It'll give you access to a whole arsenal of advanced apps for stuff like Wi-Fi penetration testing, advanced Bluetooth attacks, and powerful bad USB payloads that go way beyond the basics. You're about to see what this device is truly capable of when the community unleashes its full potential. Okay, but before we go any further, we need to have a serious talk about using these tools ethically. And I'm serious, this stuff is no joke. The tools and techniques we're about to get into are for educational and research purposes only. So you should only use them on your own devices or on networks where you have explicit written permission to test. Using these apps to attack, disrupt, or access devices or networks you don't own is illegal and can get you in serious trouble. Understand that this video is for security pros, students, and enthusiasts who want to learn how these attacks work in a controlled, responsible way. The goal is to learn how to defend against these attacks, not to perform them maliciously. Always get permission, hack ethically, and definitely don't be that guy who ruins it for everyone else. All right, let's get to the main events, upgrading your flipper's brain. We're going to install a custom firmware, and for this guide, we'll focus on one of the most popular and feature-rich options out there right now, the Momentum firmware. Now, Momentum builds on the legacy of other powerful firmwares and is known for pushing the boundaries of what the flipper can do especially with Bluetooth and customization while still being stable. First things first, you need your Flipper Zero with an SD card in it, a USB-C cable that supports data, and a computer. Okay, step one, connect your Flipper to your computer and open the official Q Flipper application. If you don't have it, go to flipperzero.one slash downloads and then scroll down and download the one for your operating system. Before we do anything custom, it's always a good idea to make sure your flipper is running the latest official firmware. This just makes sure the device is in a clean state. So open QFlipper, click install, and then click update and let it do its thing. Step two, once you're updated, is to close QFlipper and grab the custom firmware. Now, the developers made a web installer, which is the easiest way to do it. You don't need to be a coding genius or a command line wizard. Head to momentum-fw.dev, which is the official Momentum firmware website. If you're not connected already, just click connect, and it will connect to your Flipper Zero. And step three is install. So hover over the install menu, click web updater, go down and select a channel, change it to mainline, 
and then go and click install just like we did on Q Flipper. Now, as you saw with Q Flipper, you will see the installation progress on your flipper, and the whole thing just takes a few minutes. The installer handles everything, downloading the code, talking to the flipper, and writing the new software. And once it's finished, your flipper will reboot automatically. And that's it. Seriously, your flipper will boot with a new slick animation and you'll probably notice the menu looks a little different too you've now officially upgraded your device and moved from the walled garden of the official firmware into the wild open plains of community driven power with momentum installed your app menu is now a treasure chest we're going to look at three game-changing apps that you didn't have before. First, an app that's both controversial and incredibly useful for testing, BLE Spam. Now, BLE stands for Bluetooth Low Energy, and this app lets your flipper flood the area with a massive storm of fake Bluetooth connection requests. With the stock firmware, the Bluetooth tools are pretty basic. With Momentum, you get a full suite designed to stress test how devices handle this kind of spam. So what does it actually do? Well, imagine activating one of the BLE spam attacks like the Apple TV pairing or Android fast pair spam. You could potentially make every iPhone or Android device in range get hit with non-stop pop-up notifications, asking them to pair with a new device. For the person on the receiving end, the phone could pretty much become unusable as they have to constantly dismiss these pop-ups. In fact, before it was patched, some earlier attacks on older versions of iOS 17 could even cause iPhones to crash and restart. Now again, a lot of these have since been patched by Apple and Samsung, so they won't be as effective as before. Now I get it, I know it sounds like a prank, but for a security pro, this is a powerful denial of service testing tool. You can use it to check the resilience of your own IoT devices. Like how does your smart lock or security camera react when it's bombarded with junk data? Does it fail safely or does it crash and burn? This hidden app lets you answer these questions, turning your flipper into a pocket-sized Bluetooth chaos agent for security auditing. Now, the bad USB feature on the official firmware is cool, but it's really just the tip of the iceberg. For those who don't know, bad USB turns the flipper into a fake keyboard that can rapidly type and execute commands when plugged into a computer. Custom firmware supercharges this. Now, Momentum takes it to the next level by including a cool collection of ethical and utility-focused scripts right out of the box. These are payloads that can do things like turn off the connected device's Wi-Fi, take a screenshot of the screen, scrape a website for information, or automate tasks like installing QFlipper and opening Google. Plus, for more advanced scenarios, there are entire Flipper Zero payload GitHub repositories full of powerful scripts that users can download and put on the SD card to use right away. Now, these are outdated and likely won't work, but some payloads you can find online can do some serious work. For instance, some are designed to, once plugged into an unlocked computer, you're testing silently open a command prompt, exfiltrate saved Wi-Fi passwords, and then send them to a remote server, all in a matter of seconds. You put the scripts on your SD card, open the bad USB menu, and then once you select the script, it types it at superhuman speed to execute the attack. This really just shows you how dangerous an unattended, unlocked computer can be. All right, now we're about to get into the most powerful app on the list. 
But if you're liking this deep dive and wants more content that explores the Flipper Zero or the upcoming Flipper One's potential, do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel out and it's free. All right, this next one is a huge one because it's a whole new world of Wi-Fi hacking. Well, the Flipper doesn't have a Wi-Fi chip that can do packet injection. So to do any kind of Wi-Fi pen testing, you need an external Wi-Fi dev board. This is where the Flip Wi-Fi app comes in. Now, Flip Wi-Fi is the companion app for the popular Flipper HTTP firmware. It acts as a command center for a connected Wi-Fi board, allowing you to scan and save Wi-Fi networks that can be used across all Flipper HTTP applications. Its most powerful features include launching deauthentication attacks to kick off devices off your network for testing and setting up captive portals. This lets you create a fake network that when a user connects, sends them to a fake login page you control, which is a classic evil portal attack. Now, I know what you're thinking, but the reason this setup is preferred by so many in the community is its incredible hardware support. Flip Wi-Fi and Flipper HTTP is compatible with over 14 different devices, including modern five gigahertz boards like the ESP32C5 and the BW16. This versatility means you aren't locked into one type of hardware. So Flipper HTTP and Flip Wi-Fi transforms the Flipper from a personal gadget into a portable screen equipped Wi-Fi hacking multi-tool, no laptop required. Well, there you have it. By going beyond the official firmware and installing something like Momentum, you can unlock a whole new level of power in your Flipper Zero. From the advanced scripting of the enhanced bad USB, the Wi-Fi testing capabilities unlocked by apps like Flip Wi-Fi, to the destructive potential of BLE spam, these community built apps truly transform the device. They take it from a cool gadget and turn it into a serious tool for security research and penetration testing. But just remember, with great power comes great responsibility. These tools are for learning, testing, and ultimately making our digital world a safer place. So use them wisely, use them ethically, and keep on exploring. But I want to know, what's your favorite custom firmware app? Did I totally miss one that you think should have been on the list? Definitely let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to see more advanced Flipper Zero or the upcoming Flipper One content, make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on so you don't miss the next video. I'm Jay Blank. Thanks for watching. Peace.